What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, folks. You know who this is. You heard all the a.k.a.s. I want to add two new ones. The Franchise... And I forget the other one. I'm gonna ask. Uh, this is Mr. Warmack, aka the franchise, aka the guys. All the big guys want a copy, but uh, back in the building. Today I want to talk about a touchy subject. Well, it's not touchy. I want to talk about Jedi mind tricks and photo ops, and I want to talk about the, a big one that's happened recently. Dr. Cornell West recently got arrested in Missouri, I think. And there was a picture of him, I saw on the internet, with him going face to face. Not like yelling at the police, I guess the protesting and the police, whatever. And I guess he got arrested. Folks, let me tell you something. That was a setup. Him getting arrested was him setting himself up for a photo opportunity and to get back in the glorious days he had. Now let me go in. Recently, if you go, if you look at, if you look at uh, what's been happening in Missouri, a lot of the so-called Young Turks, and I, I referenced that in the video I made where I said the old heads were pushing you out the way. That video, apparently, if you notice, a lot more people do you think watch my videos, and I'm, I, I'm glad of that. Because now you got these old heads popping up everywhere all of a sudden. They making photo ops. Look, man, you could have you could have a, 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 a lemonade stand. You'll have Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton there if, if the police shut it down. But uh, back to Cornell West, Doctor West. Now I respect Doctor West for he has done. He's flee, he's flip flopped on some issues, but you know we're not talking about that today. That may be a different day and different story. But when he got arrested, it was I, I saw straight through that. Now a lot of people were going to say, "Well, he was there. He helped." No, what it was is you see you've seen a lot of young guys. Now when I mean young guys, I mean I'm talking about guys in their and they're old, like from the 40 range on down, like in the 40s and 30s and 20s, mid 20s, starting to get their get their get their comeuppance. And thanks with the internet, I think I think a large part of that is the internet. With the internet, we don't have to go through any channels. I mean, we could like like with me, if I want to talk to somebody, I would go through channels. But as far as I'm talking about, if I was just going to just do what I wanted to do, which I do sometimes, with the internet or say what I want to say, I can do that. If I see something wrong, I can call it out. I don't have to, like, and then what the, and the old way was, a lot of these old heads were like, like they're like my old man. And I'm going to call it like that. What it is, is it's, it's what he says, and that's the way it is. You remember back in the old days, some of y'all? It's like what your, what your old man, what your grandfather said, well, that's the way it was. There wasn't any, you didn't ask any questions. And now we're, we're coming up in our own. It's like, hey, look, man, we're, we're asking questions. We see a lot of stuff that we're calling fouls on. And I know for me personally, I, 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 someone had to say stuff. Someone had to do stuff. And a lot of us are just sick of it. And a lot of us are getting out there and doing things. So now you see a lot of these old heads popping their heads up more often. I mean, come on. Jesse Jackson's over there in Texas for Ebola. Is that serious? He's willing to damn near die. He, don't know, he didn't know if that hospital was sanitized yet. But it goes to show you the scope of how powerful our messages are. Now, I may not agree with all of these guys, but I do agree with one thing in common. We're trying to help the people. And we're trying to help the people move forward. And what it is, is we're not, we're not being apogetic. If that's, if that's the way you say it, I think that's the way you say it. We're not asking. It's like we're just taking names and we're just doing it our way. Right, wrong, or indifferent. We'll learn. That's how you learn. And the people are taken up, taken to us because it's grassroots. Because we're them. Like, I see these people every day. I work with these people every day. I'm in the neighborhoods with these people every day. I know what they want and what they need because I talk to them. You think Jesse Jackson, look look at all his photo ops he came and the people have been booing him recently. Why do you think is that? What do you think? Because they know whenever the cameras leave, so does Jesse and Al. And Cornell West, he figured he got to get his shine on now. He got to get his his fame back because what if he doesn't? His his star is fading. But unfortunately, it's at the expense of a lot of people that are going through real 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 tragedies, like real drama. 
That's why, like, when people, like, and, like, people ask me, well, have I been to Missouri? Number one, people know if I've been there. I don't have to make my name known or be, I don't, like I said, there was a lot of guys, there was a lot of, like, a lot of people were there trying to get their photo ops on. Let's keep it real. But there was a lot of guys doing things, and I didn't think it was my part place to try to get, garner the attention of people to tell me their story when they've been telling it over and over, you know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, I'm leaving. If I'm going to go there, I'm going to go there for a couple days and try to make an impact, try to help out the situation. But there were guys there I didn't have to go. I talked to these guys. Don't worry about it. Like I said, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that a lot of you people don't really realize that goes on. And a lot of us guys in our 40s, 30s, and 20s, is like, we're, it's time for us to do it. Now, I'm not saying there's no need for these guys. Like I said, I respect Minister Farrakhan left and right. But some, like, but, but, but he's not gonna always be there. We have to take up the torches. We have to pick up the. We have to put the puzzles together. We have to carry on, because these guys like won't be there all the time. We have to do something, and just sitting down talking about it ain't getting it done. So, like I said, with the Cornell West thing, that was a pure photo op, because he gets arrested, he gets his name, he gets his buzz on for a couple minutes, then it's back to the usual. You see it, I see it. That was nothing but a pure photo op. And it's sad that a guy like a, a man of his caliber has to, get, has to dig to that resort. Like I said, you really think Cornell West is going to bang against cops that have the uh, batons and the, and the protector gear and all that on? Ask yourself a serious question. You think he's going to go up against that? No, I believe a few other crazies will. But you think he's going to do it? Wearing a cardigan and a, and a, and a scarf. I mean, come on! A lot of this stuff is so simple that, like, you gotta ask yourself, why aren't you guys asking these questions yourselves? So, I just wanna let you guys know, yes, what he did was courageous, yes, what he did was honorable, but at the end of the day, there's more things behind the scenes that you know. Now, I know I won't get the token Negro excuses you'll provide me. Well, what have you done? At least he was there! His opinion counts! But like I said, it was a photo op. It was an opportunity for his star to be shining, and it shined on. So that's all I wanted to talk about. You know, like I said, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just saying I'm calling it for what it was. Like I said, I got nothing to gain. I don't know the guy personally. I got nothing to gain or lose by saying this. So I'm out of here. Peace.